and see them show up. So while he's um, getting ready to zoom in on this, I was just pointing out that Les Watling, uh, who's with the University of Maybe Hawaii, right is just the logged into the chat room. He's also uh, has a lab up in Maine, and um, he's a bamboo coral specialist and chrysogorgia coral and all types of other animals. But he noted that the sponge we just collected looked just like a, a, a a type of sponge that was collected off the Galapagos Islands by the Nautilus. Okay, so they de they're described as a bunch mm -hmm. of balls on a stick. So oh, that's pretty there. similar to our kebab sponge analogy. Yeah. 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 Well, I don't know if <coughs> balls on a stick is a better name for that. I like the kebab sponge. Yeah. Frankly. That's a. So this beautiful coral we're looking at right now is a Ritigorgia, and it could be something called. Um, Aridogorgia magna spiralis. Um, it's in the family Chrysogorgidae. And yes, Les, uh, who knows these animals video. really well, uh -huh. um, definitely concurred. And I did it as magna spiralis. That's full zoom. Copy that. And he's, he's watching and then typing w right in the middle of dinner. So, <laughs> so thank you, you Les, for, yeah, sure. for this. Lasers off. <laughs> Scott says he's already trademarked the kebab sponge. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I mean, if there's any royalties there, I think Tina is going to probably, yeah. uh, since she's the one who recommended this. That's right. Yeah. I, I wonder whether this could be a, a synthetic product, too. Okay. Why don't you come live, video? Uh -huh. Are we happy with that, Ashley? Yes, we are. Yeah. Thank you. Let's keep going. Right, yeah, so we have got a lot of corals in the background Copy, there. Thank you. Uh, this is turning out to be a really pretty sight. Let's do a snap zoom. All right. so we've got a few folks on right now who Hold really there. know these animals. That's got a pretty tight spiral to it. All right, Les, you're on, at least on the chat. Nav, ship move, initiated. Uh, Scott's while we're waiting for Copy. Les to um, come up with an idea on this thing. Um, Scott was sort of pointing out that, yeah, as we're, we're getting into this flat area, we're come sort of video. losing right. our corals, but it may be a very... A full wide. Copy. Very uh, little bear patch and a momentary bear patch before we get back into Hey, co-pilot. Yes. You still got him on screen? He's off to my left a little bit. Um, they're sort of tugging each other with the tether. Yeah. Do we want another uh, close-up of this, Chris? Uh, no, I think okay. we got it. Thanks. Sure. We'll just at the end here. Come Let's back uh, home. So Les did not weigh in on that Aridogorgia, so I think we'll just call it Aridogorgia for now. Oh, oh, the sponge fleas, yeah. We haven't seen one of these so far on the dive, so this is a good one. <laughs> and we didn't see one on... not alive. <laughs> well, we haven't seen one on this cruise, I don't think, alive, one of these things. This is a pretty common uh, deep water sponge elsewhere as well.